put out our light. Not now, never. They have emboldened our mental strength and political will like never before. At least now, we know which way to go in the party primaries. To the new assembly, we envisioned a model assembly in this region that is the first defender of the people and not the executive, that performs her oversight role effectively in delivering what the revolution should give the people. Our people are still undergoing. Kindly be that assembly for Kisumu in a special county in this region. I say this to those who fear an independent assembly and for the people within and outside the assembly, brace yourselves. I presented myself to the people of Market Milimani and it is only them that we have a contact with. To all our voters and supporters, the best campaign secretariat and volunteers, we spent many man hours combing the area, speaking to all the 39,000 voters in this world and the 19,000 ODM registered voters. I am deeply grateful and indebted to you. The love and support was enormous. Many of us have watched our next movies. We will remain in ODM. We are going to campaign for the right honorable Raila Molodinga as the fifth president of Kenya. We will lead the change movement with the other young leaders in Kisumu County and the region to ensure that we have a maximum turnout and deliver the presidency to right honorable Raila Molodinga. For the voters still yearning for change in other positions, there are alternatives. Vote in the best leader who can deliver change. I will support the eventual winner of this position in August and work together with the victor after August 2022 to ensure our ideas in the manifesto are achieved. You, the voter, will determine my next course. I remain your son and brother and I will always be available. Thank you and God bless you. Stated. We are here as young aspirants from Kisumu County to display our discontentment and displeasure on the manner in which the ODM nominations were conducted. We are not happy as young aspirants. If you look at the trend, all the young aspirants who vied in different positions have been read out. And we know what happened. To my constituents of Migosi, we know very well that we won that election and from verifiable sources shows very well that we were ahead of the incumbent and those who were vying against us. I want to state this very clearly, that personally, I'm a member of ODM by birth. I'm a member of ODM by registration and I'm a life member. We came out to mobilize across all the seven constituencies of Kisumu County. That is Muroni, Nyando, Kisumu Central, Kisumu West, Kisumu East, and Seme, so that young people turn out in large numbers to register as voters because we knew how crucial the presidency of Raila is in this coming election. We know very well that these young people are a generation that are so detached with the issue of the second liberation. This is a generation that are not so much conscious of our history about the second liberation. And that is why as young aspirants, we came out to ensure that this group comes out and register as voters so that we realize Raila's presidency. Our worry is that what motivated these young people were fellow young people who came out to contest in different seats. If these young people are not going to be in the ballot come August, our worry is that they may not turn out to vote even in the presidential election. And that is going to cost our party leader Raila Molo Udinga. We know very well that there are some individuals in the corridors of Orange House who sat down to subjugate the general will of the people. We want to tell our party leader that these people are going to cost him dearly. And as we stand here now, we want to encourage our party leader that it is not too late to rectify things. We want the results that were in the system to be released so that we get the rightful winners of the nominations that was conducted. So that the certificate... ...conducted nominations in Kisumu particularly. Um, 
it is needless to remind the ODM party, especially the NEB, that the Orange Democratic Movement Party won the presidential elections in 2017 on one significant account that from 34 A's that are used to declare results at uh, polling stations and from 34 B's that are used to declare presidential results at the constituency level did not resonate with the figures that were transmitted digitally at the national uh, tallying center. And for that reason, the courts granted justice to the presidential candidate then, Raila Molodinga, based on that discrepancy. It is sad that a party that has been in the forefront, struggling for democracy and reforms, has abused the very principles of declaring results at the primary level, which is the polling stations. As a candidate in the senatorial race in Kisumu, I did concede last week on, on Wednesday that uh, we allowed what they did, the Shabulik elections, to go ahead in uh, minding the bigger picture that we are running for the presidency. But it is important that we get to know the truth. What are the figures? What did the candidates call at the polling stations? It is laughable that it is only in this part of the world, it is only in Kisumu County and the Luanyaza region, that no young person below the age of 35 is nominated for parliamentary position. Our neighbors up in Nandi are entirely a young country. Our neighbors down uh, the valley in Bomet are, are, are running that. And, you know, there is a great, a great dissonance between uh, the generations now and those that are in power. And we saw in broad daylight that these elections, these nominations, were hooked by the name, and I'm not afraid to state that, that the National Elections Board hooked the certificates to the highest bidder, to the status quo, and to those that are owners of wealth and capital. And that is in, in absolute disregard of what the party stands for, in the absolute disregard of what the PM and Baba the Fifth stands for. We want to warn them that the results of what they've done in these elections, in these nominations in 2022, may not be just seen now, but it's going to have a, a, a ripple effect in the next nominations in the coming elections, whether by elections or in the next general elections in 2027. As young people, we are not going to take this sitting down. We are not going to lie down to wait for somebody to come pick us. We presented 44 candidates for various positions across the county. None of them is successful. Samuel Nyango that was granted the certificate, the only successful young candidate has been denied victory from yesterday and we are aware of what is going on. We want to challenge them, that let them come with the figures, let them come with the truth, that if you are denying or nullifying an election, what on what basis, on what basis? For example, in Kajulu we've heard that Ongadi polling stations is, is being contested, which was basically gazetted by the name, and it's the tribunal that is going against that rule. There is a big confusion between the NEB and the tribunal that is now adjudicating these cases. And that is why we are calling upon the Central Committee that it is their time to act, to bring sanity. It's um, known that people have accepted the results in many cases, and people are trying to be peaceful, not to embarrass the party, not to embarrass the party leader. But opening up fresh wounds by you know, nullifying spaces, especially where we have an interest, where the young people are supposed to be uh, taken care of, that is not what we are looking for in these elections. Lastly, as my colleagues have said, we know that the Honorable, right Honorable Prime Minister Raila Molodinga is running.